So in this video, I want to go through some examples of solving hidden quadratics. So our first one here is 3 to the 2x take away 4 lots of 3 to the x plus 3 equals 0. Now the first thing I'd want to do is write the 3 to the 2x as 3 to the x all squared. Then take away 4 lots of 3 to the x plus 3 equals 0. Now if you're going to make a substitution, you would make y equals 3 to the x and then work it through that way, factorising, etc. I'm going to go straight into factorising here. So we want two numbers that multiply together to make 3, but add together to make minus 4. And that would be minus 1 and minus 3. So 3 to the x minus 1, and 3 to the x minus 3. So that means that either that bracket is 0 or that bracket is 0. So that would mean that the 3 to the x would be equal to 1, or 3 to the x is equal to 3. Now, if 3 to the x is equal to 1, then x would be equal to 0. And if 3 to the x is equal to 3, then x would be equal to 1. OK, and so they are the two solutions that solve the original equation. So let's take a look at number 2. 5 to the 2x take away 6 times 5 to the x plus 8 equals 0. So first of all, write the 5 to the 2x as 5 to the x squared. Then take away 6 lots of 5 to the x plus 8 equals 0. So we can factorise that. Two numbers that multiply together make 8 but add together to make minus 6, would be minus 4 and minus 2. So 5 to the x, take away 4. 5 to the x, take away 2. So either this bracket is 0, or this bracket is 0. For this bracket to be 0, the 5 to the x would have to be equal to 4. And for that bracket to be 0, the 5 to the x would have to be equal to 2. Now, to solve these two equations, we're going to use logarithms. Now, I'm going to go straight from exponential form to logarithmic form. So x would be log base 5 of 4. Or, for this one, x is log base 5 of 2. And they are the two solutions that solve the original equation. OK. Right, number 3. We have 2 to the 2x plus 3 lots of 2 to the x, take away 10 equals 0. So first of all, write the 2 to the 2x as 2 to the x squared. Then we've got 3 lots of 2 to the x, take away 10 equals 0. Now, this one, we can go straight into factorising. Now, we need two numbers that multiply together to make minus 10, but add together to make 3, and that'd be plus 5 and minus 2. So in order for this bracket to be 0, 2 to the x would have to be negative 5. And for this bracket to be 0, 2 to the x would have to be equal to 2. Now, this equation has no real solutions. OK, um, because we can't take the logarithm of a negative number. So the only solutions can possibly come from this one, and that's when x is equal to 1. So there is only one solution for the original equation, and that is x equals 1. OK, number 4. Now, number 4 is a little bit different. Here we've got 2 to the 2x plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 2 to the 2x plus 1 as 2 to the 2x times by 2 to the 1. We've got the 2 to the x there. Take away 15 equals 0. Now this, I'm going to reverse the order of the term. So I'm going to have two lots of, and 2 to the 2x is 2 to the x squared. So now we want to factorise this. 
So, as usual, I hate factorizing quadratics like that. So I'm going to go straight to my calculator solver, uh, put in polynomial degree two, and now I'm gonna put in two for my two x squared, then plus one lot of two to the x, so plus one, and then put in minus 15 on the end. So we get five halves and minus three. So five halves and minus three. So that means we would have to have two to the x plus three for the minus three. And the other one was five halves, so we would have to have two lots of two to the x take away five to make the five halves. So essentially I'm saying two to the x has to be equal to five halves in order for that bracket to be zero or 2 to the x would have to be equal to negative 3 in order for that bracket to be 0. Now, this equation here will have no real solutions. The graph of y equals 2 to the x doesn't cross the x-axis, so it can never go negative. You can't take the logarithm of a negative value. Over here, we've got 2 to the x equals 5 halves, so x would have to be log base 2 of 5 halves. And that's my single solution that solves question number 4. OK, so number 5, we have 4 to the power of 2x plus 2, take away 2 lots of 4 to the x plus 2, take away 9 equals 0. So let's first of all write 4 to the 2x plus 2 as 4 to the 2x times 4 to the 2. Over here we've got take away 2 lots of, and I'm going to write the 4 to the x plus 2 as 4 to the x times by 4 to the 2. And then we've got the take away 9 equals 0 on the end. So here we've got 4 squared, which is 16. So 16 lots of 4 to the 2x which is 4 to the x, all squared. Here we've got 2 lots of 16, so take away 32 lots of 4 to the x. And then we've got the take away 9 equals 0. So, I'm going to factorise this now. So we have 16, then minus 32, then minus 9. Plugging that into my calculator. I'm getting 9 quarters and minus a quarter. So essentially, I know that 4 to the x would be 9 quarters, or 4 to the x is minus a quarter. So working backwards, we would have 4 lots of 4 to the x take away 9, and 4 lots of 4 to the x plus 1. And that would be the factorised form. Now, here, 4 to the x is a curve that doesn't go below the x-axis, so it can't be negative, so there are no real solutions to this equation. As for this one, we'll have x is log base 4 of 9 quarters. And that is the only real solution to the original equation.